Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and today I'm going to take a look at some Valve emulation plugins from the guys at AudioFX. We've got three plugins in the suite. The preamp, uh, which has just got a valve saturation control. Then we've got the in-valve equalizer, where we've got, again, we've got valve saturation and we've got a four-band EQ and some HF and LF filtering. And then we've got the in-valve compressor, again, with valve saturation as an option with the conventional controls for a compressor. So let's take a look at some drums. So we'll have all three in bypass so you can just get a sense of the recording. So now let's try with the valve saturation. We just wind that in. It's quite subtle, so you'll need decent headphones or decent monitors to hear it, but it is a nice warming sound. I have to say that I'm a real fan of valve saturation. All these second harmonic and even harmonics much warmer in the way that they uh, modify the sound. So that's our valve preamp. If we now take a look at the EQ, so again, we've got the valve saturation and we've got four bands of EQ. At the moment, I've got the top end on shelving just to brighten things up a bit. And then we've got a bit of LF that we can uh, just help to thicken out the bottom end. It is quite interesting using these plugins, but of course there's no GUI really giving me huge amounts of feedback. The only thing I've got here is the uh, information as I adjust each control. It's just like going back to the old days where we had no visual feedback. We just had to turn knobs and use our ears. So that's our EQ, and then of course we can add some compression in. We'll perhaps turn the valve saturation down a bit so we don't overdo it. Again, we can adjust the threshold. You see the ratio really is only sort of 1 to 1 to 1 1.5 to 1. Just bypass. So a nice little suite of plugins that you can use uh, on drums. So let's take a look at the brass. In this particular track, we've got a three-part brass section. So again, we're with all the plugins in bypass. So let's wind in the saturation for the preamp. And again, it's a subtle effect, but very nice indeed. Make sure you have a listen to that on some decent headphones or speakers. So just put that one to bypass. Take a look at the EQ. Bring up the valve saturation a bit. Bring in the compressor. We can really start to get a sense. Now we can just slow up the attack a bit to get the punch through. So now they've got a little bit of bite to them, but the compressor's then sitting on them, so they'll cut through the mix really nicely. So 
So that's some brass. Uh, and then finally, we'll take a quick look at some vocals. So here we are on the vocal track. So again, let's just take a quick listen in bypass. Let's bring that in and see how that sounds. Where are you these days? Are you ignoring me? My encounters with love are as deep as they ought to be. So again, it's subtle, but it's adding some nice texture to that vocal. So we'll just put that one bypass and let's take a look at the EQ. Let's bring in the compressor. And finally, let's just take a quick look at the entire track with all the different processes in. So there we go, the uh, in valve effects 2 from Audio Effects, now available in AX native, 64-bit for Pro Tools 11 and 12, as well as the other formats for other DAWs. Hope that's been helpful, and I'll see you again soon.